These are the American gladiators. And the events they compete in are confrontational. American Gladiators aired in syndication weekly from September 1989 to May 1996 and matched a cast of amateur athletes against each other as well as against the show's own gladiators in contests of strength and agility. Joe Theismann and Mike Adamle co-hosted the show during the first half of its first season with Theismann presiding over the proceedings and Adamle serving more of an analyst's role. After Theismann left the series, Adamle became the lead commentator and remained in that role for the remainder of the series. Todd Christensen was initially Adamle's replacement as analyst, with Larry Ksonka joining the series at the beginning of season two in 1990. Ksonka was replaced by Lisa Miloski following the fourth season, and she held the analyst position for seasons five and six. Danny Lee Clark, who spent the first three seasons and most of season six on the show as Gladiator Nitro, became co-host for the final season and was credited on air as Dan Nitro Clark. The first half of the first season also had a referee who wore an executioner's outfit, portrayed by former football player Jeff Benson. NFL referee Bob McElway then became the referee for the second half of season one, followed by Larry Thompson, a former Pacific 10 football referee, who took over for season two in 1990 and remained until the series ended in 1996. The referees were assisted by several game judges, including Bob Wusatich, Fred Gallagher, and Jim Marcioni. The contenders competed in a series of events during each episode. Six to eight events were played per show, varying from season to season. In each of these events, the contenders would earn points based on their performance. Each season consisted of a lineup of four events. Lineup number one consisted of Pyramid, Hang Tough or Assault, Joust or Whiplash, Gauntlet or Tug of War, Snapback, and Powerball. Lineup number two consisted of Swingshot, Breakthrough, and Conquer, or Assault, Whiplash or Tug of War, Snapback, Pyramid, and Joust or Gauntlet. Lineup number three consisted of Powerball, Whiplash or Hang Tough, Skytrack, Swingshot, Assault or Breakthrough and Conquer, and Joust or Gauntlet. Lineup number four consisted of Swingshot, Tug of War or Whiplash, The Wall, Hang Tough or Assault, Powerball, Breakthrough and Conquer or The Gauntlet. The Eliminator was the final event played in each episode and determined which contender would win that day's competition. The contenders competed side by side to complete a large obstacle course as quickly as they could. American Gladiators was originally created in 1982 by Johnny C. Ferrero and Dan Carr. Carr recruited the Gladiators and hosted the show, and Ferrero financed and produced the original competition at Erie Tech High School in Erie, Pennsylvania, so Ferrero could have the event on film as to shop the new creation. The original six gladiators consisted of Darren Malibu McBee, Marissa Lace Pear, Michael Gemini Hort, Ray Zapp Hollett, Dan Nitro Clark, and Cheryl Sonny Bardlinger. Malibu went on to appear in the movie Mortal Kombat Annihilation as Motaro and then appeared in 30 other movies and television shows. Lace went on to appear in a number of television series and was one of two gladiators to pose nude in Playboy. Drawing upon her experience in interior design, who once decorated the home of actor Bruce Willis, Lace seemed at home in the arena, especially when it came to assault and hang tough. During her residence between 1989 and 1992, Lace's beauty waved with her tenacity and fierce competitive spirit made her popular amongst fellow gladiators and fans alike. Gemini was named for a split personality of calm one minute and violent the next. Gemini served as team captain of the Gladiators during his 80 episode run on the show. He would later make appearances on Renegade, Night at the Roxbury, and What is Love. Zapp played a reporter in 1997's Letters from a Killer starring Patrick Swayze. She was also in several other small movie and television roles, as well as being the only other Gladiator to pose nude in Playboy. Born in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, Ray Hollett was a female bodybuilder, performing in season 1 from 1989 to 1990 
and returning in season 3 for several more years in the role of Zap from 1991 to 1995. Her bodybuilding career saw her place in many California and National Physique Committee competitions, including being named the 1998 Los Angeles Overall Champion. Her body has graced the covers of numerous fitness magazines, including Women's Physique World, Muscle Mag International, even Playboy. Her success as Zap also led to guest roles on a handful of TV shows, such as JAG and Baywatch. Nitro has been one of the busier gladiators since the show went off the air. He's appeared in TV shows and movies like Walker, Texas Ranger, Ellen, Saved by the Bell, and Equilibrium. As a former professional defensive lineman for the NFL's Los Angeles Rams, he was one of the most feared gladiators. His no-holds-barred personality, paired with his unstoppable physique, allowed him to dominate the gladiator arena between 1989 and 1992. After returning for a final encore season as a gladiator in 1994, Clark segued his expertise in the arena to a commentator role during the series' final season. Dan Clark continues his career in Hollywood as a jack-of-all-trades, writer, director, and producer. In 2008, he served as a consulting producer on the American Gladiators relaunch. Sunny disappeared from the spotlight after sustaining an injury during her first and only season on the show. Other Gladiators through the series' run included Blaze, Bronco, Gold, Jade, Laser, Titan, Diamond, Ice, Thunder, Turbo, Storm, Tower, Viper, Atlas, Cyclone, Electra, Havoc, Lace 2, Saber, Siren, Sky, Dallas, Hawk, Rebel, and Tank. American Gladiators went on to produce a video game for the Amiga, Sega Mega Drive, Genesis, Super NES, and Nintendo Entertainment System in 1991 by Incredible Technologies and even produced a toy line by Mattel. A kid version of the show called Gladiators 2000, hosted by Ryan Seacrest and Mariah Sansone, later Valerie Ray Miller in season two, aired from September 9th, 1994 until May 5th, 1996. American Gladiator season five grand champion Peggy Odita served as head referee. In Gladiators 2000, two teams of two child competitors would team up with two gladiators as coaches and compete by running through a series of events and answering questions on various subjects along the way. While some props and sets were retained, the rules for each event were drastically altered. In 2008, a revival of the show aired on NBC from January 6th until August 4th and was hosted by Hulk Hogan and Layla Ali. It was produced by Reveal Productions and MGM Television for mid-season debut. The first ad for the revival aired during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on November 22, 2007. The revival only aired for two seasons with a total of 21 episodes ending on August 4, 2008. As of August 2018, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg had plans for an American Gladiators reboot. The original series went on to inspire other sports entertainment shows like Battle Dome, Wipeout, American Ninja Warrior, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Titan Games. Who was your favorite gladiator? Do you remember watching the show through the 90s? Personally, I would have loved to test myself on there, especially during the Eliminator. Did you ever fantasize about appearing on there back in the day? Leave your memories in the comments below. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.